What's up, everybody? Check it out. There's that 150. Taking it all apart. We got the parts for it. I'm going to take the radiator support off and uh, get the parts painted so we can mock it up and slap it together. You can see where it's cracked there. And then at the bottom here, it has a crack right in the center. So you know, I'm going to go ahead and just replace it. Um, here's the new one. There's a new one. And then uh, here's the bumper for it. This is going to go to gray. Bumper's going to go gray. See, there's the rear bumper. Uh, I got a new radiator for it also. The condenser looks good. Got the radiator, got the headlight. Uh, things are running alright. I'm going to put some more bondo on this red truck. Uh, the last coat. Finish it off in a 180 grade to get it primed up. So we'll have to have it painted by the end of the day. Um, that's what it's coming out. You can see how I don't want to go beyond that line right there. Just want to keep the area right here in this section. But uh, there's all the little panels and stuff, the pits. Uh, this last coat right here should be the final. Well, it looks good. The bumper also got, uh, got repaired. Doing the repair on it. I put a little bit of mud. You can see right there, that corner. I'm going to put one more little pass and uh, get that ready for primer too. Alright, everybody, got it all done. An 180 grit. Uh, feels good. You can see it has a line right there. That's the texture, the undercoating. You know, so I'm going to do my primary, I'm going to get it all set up, and then after it's all painted and clear coated and stuff, um, I'll go ahead and just uh, do a line with some masking paper and shoot some clear undercoating and uh, get that protected. But as you can see, uh, I'm going to be able to lose it right there at that line right there and just do this section. That dent did cut, end up popping out some, you know, the one that was up here. Uh, here's a bumper. Got that dent out too and put some mud on it, got it all smooth. Well, uh, that's what's coming out. Hold on, check it out, guys. We're gonna have to take off this radio support. Um, what we're doing here is drilling out the, the welds it had. It just slides in there. Uh, I got a couple of welds at the bottom I gotta take off on this side. And uh, you can see that's what uh, the empty is doing over here. out the welds. Yeah, we got the uh, other radiator support. It's uh, it's sitting out here, I think. Yeah, there it is, right there. Got it all painted already, ready to get slapped in. That's a new one. Um, and we got, I got this red truck uh, in primer. I haven't put a guide coat on it yet, but uh, I'll do that here in a little bit. I also got that hood on the on this car sanded. But there's a body work so it came out on that red truck and then uh, there's the bumper. I got a primer too, that corner. So uh, turned out to be a pretty productive day. The only thing kind of taking up the time is these uh, wilds right here. So that's we're gonna weld them. I mean we're gonna drill them out right now. So. Check it out guys. Got the radiator support off of it. I think it was a pain in the ass. So now um, there's a few pieces I gotta cut off, and then we'll put the new support on. All right, everybody. We got the uh, new radiator support on. Now we're closing the ends real good. That way I could do some welding later. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, you see how it's kind of rough here? I'm just going to flatten it out, dolly it real nice. And, uh, and start buttoning it all up. Hey, what's up, everybody? Well, there's a truck. We got it all put together. We ended up using that top, uh, the original rubber on the top and the bottom. Uh, it still needs to get like its memory back because it was pretty bent. But as you can see, the gaps look good, the hood looks good, it lines up good. Um, 
It looks good. It's gonna be. It's ready to go. I already charged the air conditioner on it. Put some uh, antifreeze in it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out of here, and uh, I'll call a customer to come pick it up. But that's the one. We, I replaced the uh, radiator support on. You can see that rubber still has a little crease in it. Um, I'll just. I'm gonna tell the customer if uh, if, he, if he wants to get a new one, we can do that. You know, the, the thing uh, about this job is that uh, it was a priority. Uh, he needs the he needs uh, the truck for Monday morning for tomorrow morning, and uh, we just knocked it out in two days. You know, the, a job like this would have took at least a week to get done. You know, just waiting on the parts. But uh, looks good. There it is. Uh, and the other note, I got the another Ranger. I got to shoot this week. So right now uh, I'm getting that car ready over there, and then that pickup truck, that Ranger. I'm gonna shoot those today. Uh, I got the bumper for the Ranger here too. That's gonna get painted. Uh, this side's gonna get painted here, and then, then we'll install it and uh, ship it out, and then I'll be able to start on these rims. Hopefully, I'll have these rims done by by Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, that's the plan. But uh. Damn, I stayed up last night till about 1.30 in the morning working on this 150 here trying to get it done because like I said that's priority right there and it, it, uh, it has to get out of here. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to back it out now and uh, ready for the next job. Oops. What's up everybody? We're getting ready to take these... Uh the car, I paint that truck, we ended up doing that F-150 also, I got that done, so watch, here it is, take a look at it. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's a uh, Sunday around five, five thirty. Um, there's that truck that I finished. Um, actually got everything done. Um, this red one too. Uh, just needs to be demasked. It was just a little spot repair. You guys remember the way it looked? You can see right there where I cut it, and here's the the bumper that I squirted the side on. And then uh, also painted the uh, the Toyota. See, it's all bagged up. Man, I'm wasted. I stayed out here last night till about one o'clock in the morning, trying to get it all done. See, looks pretty good. And we just cut it up here. But I was able to get it all done, you know, thank God. It was uh, kind of uh, overwhelming. The guy said he needed that white truck today, Sunday, at the end of the day. I just talked to him. Um, I'll take it to him uh, first thing in the morning. So the agenda for tomorrow, for Monday, would be uh, start on this, finish the pop doors on it, the body work on the Chevy truck. And at the same time, uh, work on those rims, those 24s. And uh, I got another Ford Ranger out there. I gotta start doing body work and, and it needs to be painted. So, uh, we got it done though. Time for some root beer. <laughs> 